Hi there, I'm Renee and this is Movie Juice. Well, in cinemas this week, you can see The Spiderwick Chronicles. It stars Freddie Highmore as twin brothers who move into an old house with their mum and sister, then discover an invisible world of fairies and goblins. Sarah Boulder plays the part of the big sister in the movie and she came to Australia to tell me about life on the set. Sarah, how do you sum up the story of The Spiderwick Chronicles? The story is about these three kids, Jime, eh, Jimon? <laughs> Simon, Jared and Mallory, who um, move to this old sort of derelict house um, just outside of New York. And they come to this house, they sort of have to pull together when they're pulled into this fantastical, magical and um, somewhat dangerous world around them. Check it out. Don't you want to know where this thing goes? Not really. Tell me about the character that you play because she's um, she's not your classic kind of a big sister. She's much more of a tomboy than you've seen a lot of films. Yeah, I think so. I think she is. What I loved about Mallory was she's not the damsel in distress. She's the bossy older sister, you know. She gets to protect the boys and um, annoy them at the same time, which so was fun. What you stop doing fast? I'm not running anywhere. I stop throwing rocks at me. What you do? I'm you surrounded by goblins. Get inside and protect your circle. Oh, God, Simon, he's got you in on this now? For the last time, there's no such thing as God. Hey, ah, 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 what's happening? Can I start with Freddie Highmore? He plays both your brothers, twin brothers. What was the trick to getting that right on screen? Because he can't be in two places at the same time, which he is. It would have been very handy if he could. It would have made the our shooting schedule a lot shorter. But yeah, I mean, he had, oh, he always had like a double, like a photo double for um, the opposite twin. It was just like to look at and to act um, off. Which it, was, it just made it a lot easier for us because we also had the creatures to act towards. So on set, what did they have to represent the creatures for you to act with? Ping pong balls and tennis balls and sometimes we'd have these like cardboard cutouts. Which is really like just what being a kid is like again because you're just pretending. Yeah, absolutely. Dear reader, you will soon see that there are fantastical creatures living among us. Oh my. Oh. Why can't I see you? <laughs> you don't see us. Now you do. But only if we want you to. I didn't even recognize Nick Nolte until I saw his name come up in the credits at the end. Tell me about a bit about the character that he plays. Well, I mean, Nick is actually quite a quiet guy, you know? I mean, he's very funny and then he goes on set and they say action, and he transforms. He's this ogre, this... I mean, it's just so amazing to watch. He's a very talented actor. Get the book and kill them! Kill them all! What kind of people or what audience do you think it'll ultimately attract? I mean, I think... I do believe that this movie is like... It's like an adult film, though. I mean, with kids in it. So I think, I mean, it has the fantastical, magical aspect to it to attract younger kids. Yet it has a like a darker side to it. I think it kind of um, I think it reaches all ages. The Spiderwick Chronicles. Did I hit somebody? Yes. Thank you. Well, that's it for Movie Juice. I'll see you next time.